Welcome back for another episode of Saturday Night. Now, in the last video, we had uh, First Day Thunder, uh, went down well, and Nitro went down well. Um, there were two uh, television shows that took place after the first pay-per-view of the year, Sin 2001. And Saturday Night, it's, uh, it's a shorter show. We only get eight segments. And the last two weeks, um, TBS, or whoever the television company is, uh, who puts on the show, um, they're not happy with the risky nature of it. And I don't really know what I can do about that because nothing in it has been uh, over the top. So I wouldn't be surprised if it gets dropped soon. But we have a show here. And um, I'm going to go through. So the two big feuds, uh, the feud for the world title between Goldberg, Scott Steiner, uh, that's not going to appear tonight. Uh, neither is uh, Sting or Flair. So, you know, we've got some other wrestlers taking up the limelight, given their chance um, on this show. And the first match is going to include an angle. It's going to be an angle involving uh, Chuck Palumbo, Sean O'Hare. They won uh, the vacant tag titles after Nash and DDP were stripped of them. Uh, they beat uh, Rey Mysterio and Billy Kidman, and this is basically uh, them, an angle of them celebrating. So hopefully that will go down well. They are the current tag champs. Then we're going to have um, a real uh, good quality cruiserweight match between four of the uh, openers. Uh, AJ Styles is going to beat Kiwi, Kid Romeo and Jamie Noble. Then we're going to have an interview with Totally Buff. So in the last episode um, on Thunder, Kevin Nash and DDP attacked Totally Buff backstage. And this is them getting their payback, saying, you know, we're going to get you. We're going to get our revenge. Um, that's what this segment is for, to keep up that feud between those two teams. Uh, Rey Mysterio, his first appearance since um, winning the vacant uh, TV title against Lance Storm at Sin. He's going to defend his title successfully against Disco Inferno and Alex Wright, despite their best efforts to team up uh, against him. Segment five is going to be an interview with Dustin Rhodes now. Um, if you remember in the last episode, Dustin Rhodes... Uh, requested a few matches with Rick Steiner or the other way around. Um, they work pretty well together. Uh, they have fought before. So they have now entered into a feud and that's going to lead up nicely to the main event. I'm going to get Rhodes and his dad, Dusty, to team up. And there's also, uh, I'm going to get him to team up against Rick Steiner and Animal because I think Animal and Rick Steiner are potentially a good tag team. So if they perform well tonight... Um, I will think of a team name for them, but I want to try them out first. But ultimately, um, what's going to happen in the main event is that Rick Steiner is going to win over Dustin Rhodes by cheating, and that's going to keep uh, their feud going. Uh, Chris Canyon is going to win by cheating over Booker T. Um, they've not fought since Sin. There's been a few promos uh, back and forth. A few interviews uh, since then. So Canyon's sort of getting his revenge in a way, even if he is cheating. Uh, then for the second to last segment, it's an angle involving the US champ Jarrett and his feuding partner for Cat. And they're basically going to, for Cat's going to seek him out. They're going to try and get into a little kerfuffle and they're held back by, um, by backroom staff. So, um, that's going to hot things up between those two. Let's start the show, see how we get on. Okay, Palumbo O'Hare celebrating their recent success. Uh, got 70, uh, not bad. Cruiserweight match. Uh, yeah, that went down pretty okay. Let's, For example, um, just... For curiosity, let's have a look. AJ Smart Styles, how did it end? He moves in with a kill. Styles clash. One, two, three. Cool. Uh, totally buff. I expected that to do a little bit better, actually. 
Uh, Lex and Buff on the mic uh, didn't go over. Uh, went over well, but not as well as I expected. Um, Rey Mysterio, Disco Inferno, Alex Wright. That went down well, but um, pleased with that. Dustin Rhodes, that went down a lot better than I expected it to. So this feud between Dustin Rhodes and Rick Steiner could really uh, take off. Uh, next match we have is Canyon Booker. That went down well, just as well as Dustin's segment. Canyon gained overness from this match, but um, at the same time, Booker T um, is still a main eventer. He's he's not uh, losing any overness from this feud with Canyon. It's just going to do Canyon's career good. Uh, the cat, Jeff Jarrett, yeah, it went down pretty well. And the main event, please let Steiner and Animal perform well as a team. Mm, didn't go great. But Rick Steiner did get... Oh, Rick Steiner and uh, Road Warrior Animal gained overness from this segment. It just wasn't a very high-quality match. But possibly um, the, the clash of styles between the two teams um, didn't blend very well. Let's see what we got. We've got 69%, another good, solid uh, Saturday night show. Ironically, the main event was the second... Uh, most poorly rated segment on the show after the opening match. Uh, the highlights being Chris Canyon be beating Booker T and the interview with Dustin Rhodes. Let's see what we've got for our mail. 1.07. TBS are not happy. I don't know how I'm supposed to tone it down. Sid Vicious, I'd like to work with Scott Steiner if possible. You've already had your shot, Sid. You've had two free shots. I don't know why he keeps getting it keeps asking to work with him unless he thinks he should win. But I, you know, I'll have to think about that one. Because Scott Steiner is already in a feud with Goldberg. Kid Romeo thinks he should be higher up the card. Well, you've not really done much to to um to prove anything. Right, back to Monday Nitro, which will be the next video. There we go, Saturday Night has been dropped by TBS, so we've only got two shows from now on, Monday Nitro and uh, Thursday Thunder. They're the only two, so we're going to have to pick a lot more wisely uh, what we're going to do. There's going to be a lot less uh, segments. That's eight less segments a week for for the wrestlers, so probably some of the um, mid to lower mid card talent is going to suffer for that. Royal Rumble did pretty well. Didn't do that much better actually than um, Saturday night. Okay. Let's just, uh, for example, uh, for I don't know why I keep saying for example, for, out of curiosity, book of tea. He's still got um, openness in 90, yeah, 92. Chris Canyon was um, 78, and it said he's gone up. He's gone up to 80 now. That's good. Uh, pleased with that. Let's see if the writers are asking me to do anything. Cool. Okie doke. Any unhappy workers? No. Cool. Okay. That's Saturday night, and I'll be back with you for... Monday Nitro, 22nd of January 2001.